Hi, this is Christopher Lee with Amuse Music Center. And I'm really excited to make this video for you today because today we're going to wash our trumpet. Yes, we're going to give it a bath. So to clean our trumpet, we're going to need to take our maintenance kit. We sell these here at the store. It has all the parts that you need. Inside, you're going to find a special cone-shaped brush. We use this to clean out the mouthpiece. We have a thicker brush. We use that for the valve chambers. And we have this coiled up snake brush, which is pretty flexible. And we're going to use that to clean all the long tubing. After we finish the trumpet bath, we're going to reassemble the instrument using valve oil, multi-purpose grease, and we have a polishing cloth to give it a quick polish. We're going to need to use soap and water to wash our trumpet. So we're going to go to the kitchen and I'm going to show you how to do this. Follow me to the kitchen. I have a sink set up with warm water. It's warm. I can still put my hand in it, but you want it to be warm just to make everything clean. For soap, Whatever you have on hand, I have Dawn Platinum here, I have Ultra Ajax with a lemon scent, so I'm going to use that. Just put a little bit in the water, get it soapy. And now we're going to take apart our trumpet. We're going to start by taking off the mouthpiece, that's going to go in the water. I'm going to take off the main tuning slide, take off the second valve cap, or second valve slide I should say, take off the first valve slide. We have three bottom caps to remove here from the valves. Turn it over. We have the third valve slide. Now, sometimes there's a little set screw here that prevents the slide from just falling out. It has a limiter that locks it in. You can release the screw a little bit and it should slide right off. Unscrew our valve, our pistons here, take these out. A quick word about the uh, pistons, these can come apart further. I don't recommend that you take them apart, just leave them as a whole unit, just like this. Goes in the water, second valve, third valve, and body of the instrument. Want to make sure it gets almost fully submerged, just so all the parts have a chance to soak a little bit. I'd recommend leaving it in here about 20 minutes. So we're going to take a quick break and when we come back we'll show you how to wash the trumpet. Okay, so it's been about 20 minutes. We're ready to wash our trumpet. We're going to take our brushes here. You can put those in. I'm going to start with this cone-shaped brush and scrub the mouthpiece out. The mouthpiece, I'm going to find it down here in the, in the sink. And what you want to do is you want to go in through the back end because inside of the uh, trumpet mouthpiece, it's shaped just like this if you go this direction. It's not shaped like this, it's shaped like so. So we want to go in through the back side and just give it a gentle scrubbing. Get a little extra of the soapy water and scrub that out. Now I recommend scrubbing out your mouthpiece once a week just to keep it clean. It tends to collect uh, stuff that's in our saliva so we want to make sure it's nice and clean since this is the part that's closest to our mouths. After you scrub it out 
I'll just put the mouthpiece back in. We'll get to rinsing that later. The next part we're going to uh, focus on are the pistons themselves. And for this, I'm going to use this thicker brush. These holes that are on the sides here through going through the piston, this is the part that uh, directs the air through the instrument. So we want to make sure that we get in here and scrub all of these holes out. And then you can just scrub on the sides just to make sure you have a clean piston. Okay. Let that soak again. Get the next one. Same thing. Gonna get in, scrub out, scrub out these holes, runs through. get a little extra soap just to make sure we get sudsy enough here and get the grease and oil off. As you play, the oil tends to break down, but it can leave a film on your pistons, and that can sometimes lead to having valves that run slower or get a little sticky. So um, I recommend that unless you, if your valves get a little sticky sometimes, but they don't go down and, and just simply stop and refuse to come back up. You might want to consider giving your instrument a bath. That can sometimes free up the pistons and might save you a more expensive uh, sonic wash or chemical cleaning of your instrument. Okay, so that's our three pistons. They're all pretty clean now. Go ahead and put those here in the corner. And now we're going to get our snake brush. This is this long, uh, flexible brush that we're going to use to get to the long tubing. As you can see, we have this main tuning slide. And if I were to use this thicker brush, I could get both sides, but I could never get down into the bend. So we're gonna take our snake brush and we're gonna run it through. And I recommend going a little slowly at first so that way you can kind of catch all the parts as you're going in. I'm going to add a little extra soap here just to make sure we're getting everything clean. It's going to go in and you'll need to put a little extra pressure in order to push it through. But as you can see, I have it in to this point and if we show you where how far that goes in you can see it makes it around that bend and that's what we're looking for so coming on the other side turn this around push it through and it gets deep inside the tubing and you can see we made it all the way around so we know that the inside here is clean go back to our thicker brush and we can just use that or I have a sponge handy. I can use the soft side of the sponge just to clean these contact points and just wipe the rest of the instrument off. Or wipe the rest of the slide off. And we can go ahead and do that for the next one. This is the third valve slide. Now this one, the bend is tighter. We're not gonna make it around that, but we can get pretty close. We can move this down in and get pretty close to the end there. We're just trying to make sure that everything inside is, is clean. sponge again using the soft side we don't want to use the abrasive side of one of these uh, scrubber sponges so if you have just a regular cellulose sponge that'd be perfect otherwise just use the soft side of one of these scrubber sponges and that one's fine for the second 
valve slide. It's pretty small. Again, we're not going to make it around that bend, but just clean it out inside. Get a little of that soapy water back on here. And it's pretty good. First valve slide, same thing. Just going to scrub through both sides. And just give it a quick wipe down with a soft sided sponge. Okay. Now, we have our bottom valve caps here, and if you look closely, there's a little bit of gunk that tends to collect at the bottom there. You can see it on the threading. Um, I'll show you some of the other ones. They've been soaking for a few minutes, so they may not be as dirty as when you first put it in, which is one of the reasons I recommend soaking in the first place. You can kind of loosen up some of the gunk, but I would take the fatter brush here and just in a circular motion, clean out these caps. Okay, that looks pretty clean. We got most of it off. Do the second one. Looks pretty good. And the last one. Okay, and lastly, we have the body of the trumpet. So what we're gonna do with the body of the trumpet, these have all the receiving tubes for all those slides that we just cleaned, as well as the uh, piston chambers here for the valves. So we're gonna use our thick brush to clean the chamber for the piston. We're gonna run it through the top and spin it around and we're going to run it through the bottom. I recommend that this is the part that you spend the most time cleaning. So, and use a little bit of extra soap because that part right there has the most buildup usually. So run it back in, really make sure it's clean. If you have sticky valves, like I told you before, I would say the least expensive way to make sure that they work is to give it a bath yourself. If you're still having trouble, you can have a professional cleaning, or if there's valve damage, then you would need to send it in and have a professional open up those valves. But a lot of this stuff you can do at your, at your own home. So I'm working on the third valve casing here. Again, I'm going through both sides. Okay. Quickly go back over the others. Okay. Dunk that in. All right, the first valve receiving slides here. We're gonna go in there. Same thing here. And we get our sponge and just using the soft side we can wipe that tube. One of them, this one receives the, the first slide and the other one goes like so. So we want to make sure that we clean that surface. Same thing here with the second slide receiver. Just clean that out. For the third valve slide, I think you're going to have to switch back to the snake brush. So we have, this will go in this direction, goes all the way to the end, and this one. Okay. I'm going to get this surface, just like with that first valve slide, this surface goes inside the other part, so you want to make sure that's clean. We have the lead pipe. The lead pipe is where you put the mouthpiece. Oh, it goes over here. That's the part that the air goes through first. It's one of the longer parts. I'm gonna 
run that snake brush all the way down and through. You can see how far it goes down and through. And just want to give it a good scrubbing. Okay. This, like the mouthpiece, has the chance to be probably the dirtiest part of the trumpet, so I recommend that you spend a little extra time on this, like the mouthpiece and the valves. Okay. And the last part would be to get this bend. We're going to go in through the bell. That's it. So now we've scrubbed all the parts of our trumpet. We can set the brushes aside. And now we're going to rinse the trumpet. Now that we've finished washing and scrubbing the trumpet, we're going to need to rinse all the parts. I won't be able to talk while I'm rinsing, but we'll show you how to rinse all the parts. First thing is we're going to need to release this water in the basin. Now I have a sink stopper that has a little basket catch so the parts can't slip down the drain. If you don't have one of these um, you're going to need to be careful that you don't lose some of your small parts to the garbage disposal. And I'm going to show you now how to rinse all the parts. After you've rinsed off all your parts thoroughly, making sure you get all the soap out, you can just set everything here on a towel surface to air dry for an hour, two hours. Um, you just want to make sure all the parts are dry before you reassemble and uh, re-grease and re-oil it. 
or you could have some of that grease break down before you really are ready for that. So we're going to take a, another break and come back uh, and we're going to put this all together again. Welcome back. So we've had our trumpet air drying for a couple of hours and now it's time to put it back together again. To do that we're going to need to use valve oil and that's going to be used here with the pistons and multi-purpose grease with the slides. The mouthpiece doesn't need any grease so we're going to set that aside and focus on the slides first. We'll take our multi-purpose grease, it comes in a little tube like a chapstick and start with the main tuning slide. That's the one that's the largest. We'll take the multi-purpose grease and apply it to the surface here, both sides. Then I recommend using your fingers just to make sure that it gets on to all the parts here. Nice, thin, even coating. And then when we go to put it back in, I'm just going to line up the sides. We want to make sure that the water key is facing down. I'm going to work one side in first, then put in the other side, and push it back in. You'll see a little grease bead forms on the contact there. I would just take a paper towel and wipe that off. So now we have our main tuning slide which is greased. Do the same thing for the first valve slide. Multi-purpose grease. Can use our fingers. Just make sure we get that distribute it all over. Now with this piece only one side is available to put grease so the other side of that is here on the body of the instrument so we're going to put a little multi-purpose grease right here on that as well. Go ahead and install that. Should slide right on and a little paper towel to wipe off the excess grease. For the second slide, this one's the smallest. A little grease. And that goes in. Now the way that you install this, there's usually a little bead here that helps you remove it. You want to make sure that's facing up and out so you can use that to pull it out next time. Just slides right in, wipe off the extra grease. Turning it over, we have the third valve slide. Apply some grease to this part. Work that on with our fingers. And then there's a section here on the body of the instrument that you need to apply a little grease. I need to loosen the screw again. We talked about that. That helps hold the slide on. Slides right in. Tighten the screw. Now it won't come off and wipe off the excess grease. Now for the pistons. I'm going to show you inside the trumpet, there's still a little bit of water inside those uh, piston chambers. So since we don't want to get any lint from our paper towel in there. I'm not going to run the paper towel inside, but I'll just quickly <laughs> blow out the water. <laughs> and that should get most of it out. Okay. On the side of the instrument, usually there's numbers stamped. 
There's a number one on the valve casing that's closest to the player. There's a three on the one that's closest to the bell. The middle one usually doesn't have a number stamped on it. And then we have our pistons. Now these pistons, they look like they're the same, but they're not. The angle that these holes have been drilled into them are not all the same. If we turn them a little bit, you'll see that some of the positions of the holes are different. So each piston goes to a specific valve chamber. We'll go ahead and start with number one. We look on the piston and there's a number one that is stamped or etched into the metal. And it's that number one that we need to line up with the mouthpiece receiver facing the player. So when the valve, after we put the oil on it, when it goes in, it's going to be facing in this direction. If you saw my video on oiling your trumpet, this should look familiar. Again, we're going to put a little bit of oil. Since this is dry, I might put a little bit of extra oil or do this two times just to make sure that we get enough back into the instrument. We put it in, spin it around, and then take it out again, put a couple more drops, and put it back in. Spin it around, and now we go to line it up. Make sure that one is pointing towards the mouthpiece receiver, the player. Push it straight down. You should hear it lock into place. You should feel it lock into place. And then we can tighten the cap down. Okay. For the second valve, we do the same thing. Put some oil on the surface of the piston. Put that into the instrument, spin it around a few times to distribute the oil, a little bit more, spin it around, going to lift it straight out, double check, you can see we're not lined up right now, so we're going to rotate it until that two is facing the mouthpiece receiver where the player is. And then it goes straight in. Should hear it lock into place. And tighten the cap down. If the cap doesn't go down easily, don't force it. Just back it off and try again. That way you won't cro accidentally cross thread it. Here's the last one, third valve, oil. Try to get it all over the surface there. Goes into the chamber, spin it around, take it out, add a little more oil. Put it in. Spin it around and pull it straight up. Line up that three with the mouthpiece receiver, the player, and it locks in. Now from, from time to time you might find that you've put the valve in the wrong way. Sometimes it gets rotated 180 degrees the wrong way and for some reason it just happens to lock in. If it feels like when you blow into your trumpet after you've cleaned it that it's filled with cotton, chances are you have a valve turned the wrong way. So just double check all of them, pull it straight up, see if you're missing the number there. In this case we had it the opposite way so we line it up correctly, go straight in and tighten this down. If you do this correctly, you should be able to blow air straight through your instrument without any resistance. Last thing we're going to do is install the bottom valve caps. 
These valve caps are universal to the instrument. Different brands have different thread depths, but on this instrument, these are interchangeable between all three valves, so it doesn't matter which one you put it on. Should go right on really easily. Again, if it doesn't go on easily, don't cross thread it, just back it off and go slowly until you can get it to twist on. So there we go, that's our trumpet. We've disassembled it, we've washed it, we've rinsed it, dried it, re-oiled it, reassembled it, and now this is gonna be clean for maybe another six to seven months depending on how often you practice. I hope that this video has been helpful to you. It's definitely the number one question that I get asked by parents of trumpet students. You know, how do we clean our instrument? So I'm glad that we have this video that you guys can follow along and hopefully take care of your instrument at home. Thanks for watching.